What's up, guys? So I'm going to have to go through all six of these emails again because the people in the back are dumb and don't realize that Jarrett actually admitted to doing this. But they want to be like, well, he never said that. Did, did you read the emails? Did, did you read anything in these emails? Or are you a dummy? This is going to be broken into six pieces. Whatever the subject says will be part one, part two, part three. Just the same, same subject. Just at the end, put part two, and then part three, and part four to find it. Uh, so let's start out with this one. They're not in any specific order, because I don't know what order they're going. But let's start with this one. It says, while there is a lot of shit that has happened through, throughout my own life, personally from M, abandonment, growing up in foster care, and any other shit along the way, I would not change a thing, for it has made me who I am today. You wouldn't change that you did shit to other people, Jarrett. You wouldn't change that? The fuck is wrong with people? Oh my god. I cannot apologize for others for anything that has happened to you in your life. But I have done my best to acknowledge directly with you my own mistakes. I hold no secrets at this with my own parents, my grandparents, grandpas, and with mothers, aunts, and my own wife and my children. So your wife and your children know about this. Yeah, people were getting pissed off at me because I asked, does his wife know? And I didn't really pay attention to that the first time I read, but he technically kind of comes out and says his wife and his children know about it. Yeah. For the people that come after me, you can off. Uh... Because I asked if the wife knew about it. I have even discussed publicly about my situation and the unfortunate shit that's happened within within families. No, you haven't. You liar. Do we pinpoint it to the, the two family line, lineages? Or do we pinpoint it to Mormon... Mormon uh, that religion, I can't pronounce it. It doesn't come out right. I do not have any answers. There is no way for me to understand the hate and resentment that you must have for me over three decades later. Yes, because you are her, you dumbass. I heard about you driving into the cemetery a few weeks later. Trust me, I had no idea that I had had a desire to be there and that I was the only reason keeping you away. I would have 100% gave up the time to do what I could to avoid this cemetery so that you would feel comfortable and have your time with Grandma and the rest of the family. No, you wouldn't, asshole. You pushed the family away from your cousin and your sister. You pushed them away. It is your decision and your choice if you ever want to accept my apology. She ain't going to. Why would she? I have made peace in my life with all things bad, including this situation. Again, he's admitting that he did it. That's pretty obvious in this fucking email. But people are blind. If you ever want to discuss, I am always a available to have a conversation with you, either in person or over the phone. Dude, she doesn't want to talk to you. You are her... When she was 9 or 10 and you were 17. She doesn't want to talk to you. She thinks you're a piece of shit. And, and, and a lot of other people do too. I'm one of them. People in the back? Really? Really? 